as human beings, it's human mm -hmm. nature. You know, somebody sits with you, hangs out, has, has uh, uh, you know, uh, on some of these exercises when we are trying to form unions and we are trying to get participation. Mm -hmm. I would not rule out any kind. Went into a very bad depression. Uh, I just sunk. My spirit sunk. Everything sunk. I can't hear my daughter. Louis Atieno was once the star anchor in all top four media houses in Kenya. Not only that, he was the highest paid journalist in this country. Sometimes when you are at your very best, at your peak, life hits you in the head with a break. Louis Atieno was not just hit with one break. He was hit with several breaks leading to him ending his career and Kenyans missing one of their favorite anchors on their screens. This is the story of Louis Otieno. Let's dive into it. Welcome back to AFAX number one stop to entertainment and trending news. Now, before Louis Otieno was one of Kenya's biggest names on television, his mother herself, a broadcasting legend, worked for many years at the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation, that is KBC. He handled mostly the education programs and Louis would listen to her shows keenly to flag mispronounced words, long pauses, coughing. Even though he never thought about being a journalist or even wanting to be on TV, he ended up being a newscaster and his mother would also listen keenly and critic what he did taking notes of words wrongly pronounced and so basically the apple did not fall far from the tree just like his mother he got into the media world but before jumping into broadcasting his career in the late 1980s was working as a junior officer at post bank kenya and as much as he was working there his interest was still in the media space and that is when he decided to try his luck one day walked into his manager's office pitching an idea of becoming a presenter center of the company's popular show Postbank Premium Bonds Draw. This aired just before the news on Kenya Broadcasting Corporation TV. Just because his mother was in the media space, it was not easy for him to get into that space. He was rejected a couple of times, but he never gave up. A couple of months later, he was 21 years and he made his debut on television as the show's presenter. It wasn't long before Kenyans started noticing him due to his captivating voice and interesting personality. Following a couple of years into the media space, Louis Cheno was poached from KBC and he joined KTN as a 9 p.m primetime news anchor. This is where he attracted a huge fan base and became one of the highest paid news anchor in Kenya. But as much as he was very successful, Kenyans flooding him with praises, some of his colleagues in the industry did not think so of him. They accused him of being very unpredictable. In fact, they described him as one person that you have to be very careful when you want to approach them. Not only that, some of the rumors that were swirling around is that was into the life of partying, alcoholism. But according to so many reports at that time, Louis Otieno's career made him popular in Kenya and his love to fame played a cruel joke with him and that is how the Louis Otieno's downfall began gradually, marked by these allegations of arrogance, clashes with higher-ups in the industry and though he claimed to be misunderstood, rumors of his arrogance persisted, affecting his professional relationships as well. This is actually something that he confirmed on an episode of the podcast Paradise Lost with James Smart confided to James Smart that he was misunderstood and that his superiors just hated his guts. Not only that, his family life was also playing very publicly. He was alleged to have abandoned his first family. One of the stories that we have covered here as well is of his son Silas Miami, who has actually publicly rejected Louis Otieno as his father. I covered that video in details. I will link it at the end of this so that you can catch up and listen to all that. Louis Chino later became sick and in fact he thought that it was food poisoning but it persisted prompting him to seek medical attention. That is when Louis said while he was laying at the hospital bed he overheard the doctor say that he should quit the bottle. And according to Louis he was there thinking to himself how is he going to explain to these doctors that he does not have a drinking problem. Health complication hit him really bad. He lost his hearing. Can't hear my daughter.
every day. It's painful. But it's not Louis Otieno's health that completely brought him to a standstill. Even though he was battling with health problems a little bit, he still would put on a brave face and continue reading the news and hosting great interviews. But his world came to a standstill back in 2012. And that was the passing of Karin Chepchumba. This was another scandalous page of Louis Otieno's story. He claimed that Karin was only a good friend of him and often visited him to ask advice. However, Karin Chepchumba's father shared with the media that his daughter and Louis were lovers. Furthermore, Karin spent millions to sponsor Louis Otieno's lifestyle. In 2012, Louis Otieno was accused of taking the life of Karin Chepchumba. However, soon after that, he was acquitted. The mystery around Karin's death is unsolved until today. Some people believe that she took her own life. Some believe that Louis is guilty and should be punished. But the police did the investigation. They did DNA and nothing linked him to Karin's passing. He also disputed the claims that they were lovers but only good friends. And in a blink of an eye, Louis Otieno disappeared from TV screens when he was just at the peak of his promising career. He had lost his job, his reputation. A man that many media houses were fighting for at this point in time would not dare employ him. At this point, Louis Otieno has been hit hard. He has been diagnosed with acute pancreatic infection, a disease that crushed his hearing system. At the same time, he is still dealing with this Karin Chepchumba case. And just like that, once a sought after presenter, Louis Tiano confesses that since his life embarked on a downward spiral, everyone he knew from his glamorous life deserted him. I'll actually quote him Every day it's painful. Nobody is gonna be with you. Nobody's gonna touch you. Nobody visits. Nobody calls. Nobody checks up on you. Louis will even share that the people who would blow up his phones 24 7 deserted him just when he needed them the most. I'll quote what he said I had friends. They changed. And that's what it is because I look for them and I can't find them. I'm from a life where I had two phones that would ring 24 7. I had people on speed dial who were supposed to be friends. There are people who are now leaders. I have people who are governors, literally opinion leaders. Parliament has them and no one is interested. This is something that many can relate to. That when things are doing good, you have so many people surrounding you. But the moment things hit rock bottom, everyone deserts you. And that was the same case for Louis Otieno. Louis Otieno was hit really bad. He couldn't even pay his rent. He had to go back to live with his mother. His Range Rover sport vehicle that he used to drive was sold at a throwaway price. All this done to cater for his hospital bills. And at one point, someone who was the highest paid journalist in this country, ended up appealing to Kenyans to help raise 4 million Kenya shillings so that he would be able to restore his hearing. And thanks to well-wishers, they chipped in and they helped raise the money and he was later admitted at the Mata Hospital where he underwent an operation that restored his hearing. And since then, his health has been the biggest problem to his comeback. Back in 2020, on October 2nd, he announced that he was going to return to TV screens after regaining his hearing. The veteran news anchor shared that he was planning to be back with a program titled The Second Act. Hello, my name is Louis Otieno. For those who are familiar to I've missed you. I hope to see you soon. I plan to be back with a program called the second act. The country is going through a difficult time. BBI referendum questions for the first time. The parliament has been asked to close shop and go home. All leading up to the elections. After we managed to do with COVID-19, what happens when there's an economic slum? How do we get back from that? And when this happens, I like to talk to the people who deal with the difficult decisions and I like to get answers for you from them. And before I even start to meet these people, I must give thanks to you because I reached out to the country and you came out and with your 10 shillings, your 5 shillings, your 50 shillings, you came out. There are those who came out as corporations. A big thanks to PWD as people with disabilities. There's a COGK, that's the Cochlear Group of Kenya, 
they made this possible. It is through them that I can hear with the gadgets they did. The country has a lot to deal with. I want to be part of it. I want to give you answers to the questions you need to hear answers to. My name is Louie. I'll see you soon on the second part. Now, as much as, as he didn't disclose where and when the show will start airing, many Kenyans were looking forward to it. They had already seen how life had beaten him up. He was sick. He had lost his balancing. He had regained his hearing. And they were really looking forward to seeing him back on their screens. But that has not happened yet. And as you watch that video, as much as he's back on his feet, it is still not the old Louis Otieno. You can definitely tell that his health took a toll on him. Maybe someday he will be back. But this is a story of Louis Otieno, once Kenya's highest paid news anchor. But this story also shows that all can change in a split of a second, perhaps due to sickness getting fired sometimes even poor management with finances as we have gotten to see in some cases maybe when the time is right kenyans will get to see louis otieno back on the screens again just like the old days just as the famous swahili proverb kuteleza sio kuanguka thank you so much for watching you are up to date subscribe hit the notification bell so be the first to be notified once have any new uploads i'll catch you on the next one Bye bye